Water scarcity and water pollution, two of the world's most pressing environmental problems, particularly in developing countries where infrastructure and resources are limited. Israeli organizations and companies are actively looking to offer residents of those areas a solution. More now from IBA's Dennis Zinn. The access to clean drinking water is a major problem for hundreds of millions of people around the world. Many are forced to travel each day for hours on foot to find a clean supply after nearby sources have become dirty and contaminated. The United Nations Children's Agency, UNICEF, says some four million children under five years old die each year because they lack access to safe water and proper sanitation. According to the United Nations, dirty water is the world's greatest single killer. These are the facts that prompted veteran Israeli diplomat Ornit Avidar to take action. 780 million people around the world don't have access to clean water today. When we came upon this uh, statistic, we said, look, this is not economical, it's not logical, and it's actually unacceptable. So, so, so what are we going to do about it? Avidar was aware of Israeli water management methods and technologies that could ease the clean water shortage in much of the third world, but for various reasons were not being implemented there. She established Waterways, an organization dedicated to providing sustainable water and energy solutions for rural areas. Technology has to be decentralized, simple, low energy, because usually when there is no water, there is no energy, and very easy to maintain. She travels to remote locations around the world where she meets the people, first to understand their needs and then to offer advice. Peter also mentioned to us that you have a wonderful water system here, but the water is a little dirty and to see how we can make it clean. We're the ones that can say, okay, this is what we learned. This is from our experience. We've, you know, felt it in our bones and mouth, if you like. And now we're very willing and to share it with people in Africa that have the same problems. So, and, and that's why they trust us as well. One of the systems recommended by Waterways is the Israeli Sandy water distiller, which produces clean drinking water from a salty or contaminated source with no need for infrastructure or external power. We know how to handle and to treat any source of salt water, contaminated water, just unclean water that has bacteria in them or other diseases. And our system, using the solar power, takes the water and creates the process of an evaporation and condensation, which helps create fresh water for drinking and for any other use. The idea was conceived and developed by Shimon Bendor, who says that the water distiller simply mimics nature. I took the idea of uh, put the sun in the center and from the, from the energy that the sun creates to boil water, but uh, in high speed and uh, to take all the energy and to put the energy inside the system. This particular unit can produce 400 liters of fresh water per day, and the company is working on a much larger version, which the developers say will be just as easy to operate. We like to look at our system as a high-tech, low-tech system. It's a smart unit, but it's very, very easy to maintain. People with no engineering background can easily run and maintain the system. These are the systems that are changing lives in the developing world. Avidar and her team have recently returned to Israel from the West African countries of Cameroon and Burkina Faso, where they helped remote communities establish centers to produce hygienic water and eco-friendly electricity. It's no wonder then that the Waterways team is received in Africa with appreciation, song and dance.